fun and creative parts of making kombucha is flavoring it. I like to use all kinds of fresh dried fruits. Got a little uh, Meyer lemon from the garden here. I love ginger. So starting with flavors that you already like, like ginger ale, that was an inspiration for me to use fresh ginger. You can slice it, dice it, juice it, squeeze it, or even use the crystallized form. It adds a great kick and lots of carbonation. I also like to use fresh fruit. I grow Meyer lemons in my yard, so that's what I like to use. You can squeeze them um, to use the juice, but avoid putting the pith in there. That's the white part. Um, berries are also good. I like elderberries because they offer great upper respiratory support and are very flavorful. All of the healthful elements present in your berries, or like these are goji berries, um, will be passed along to your kombucha. You can also use fresh jams or jellies. If you want to add a little different type of flavor, I like to do the floral elements or herbs. Those also offer a nice counterbalance to the different flavorings. Here we got some lavender and some rose petals. Those are really delicious. If you got a flavoring packet with your kit, here's how you use it. You want to take it and put it with one 16 ounce bottle. It's super easy. All you do is rip it open and uh, pour the contents of your packet into your bottle. So this is the same with any of your flavorings. You just put your fresh ginger, your fruit pieces. Um, you could also use frozen, frozen berries or a jam or jelly depending on the time of year. So you just want to get all those little pieces in there. There we go, that's good, good enough. And here it is on the bottom of the bottle. And then we just pour our kombucha right on top of that. With the continuous brewing system, that's super easy because you've got the spigot. Now, when flavoring the secondary fermentation, I like to leave my bottles out for a short period of time, 24 to 48 hours, in order to allow the natural carbonation to build. One of the ways we do that is by filling the bottle nearly all the way to the top. We want to leave as little airspace as possible. This will help boost the carbonation. So we screw that lid on tight. Now one concern um, in terms of the secondary fermentation and carbonation is the potential for bottles to explode. Though I've not experienced it myself, I've read certainly many stories of people having that problem. One way to mitigate that is by storing your secondary fermentation bottles either in a cooler or a separate box. So should that occur, at least the damage will be confined to a smaller area. Another way to reduce that risk is on a daily basis, just go over to your bottles and burp them. And what that means is you just wanna slowly, gradually open them up, allow that CO2 to release and close it back up. Also, since we're filling these to the top, when you are ready to drink them, do open them over the sink just in case you get a little overflow. Some other ways, if you don't wanna bottle your kombucha or put flavors in it in the bottles, you can also flavor it straight on. A great way to drink it is with just a little ice, the pH of the water from the ice changes the pH of the kombucha, so it helps to mitigate some of that sour flavor. Delicious. Just like when the ice cube melts in a glass of scotch and mellows the flavor, that's what it does to the kombucha too. Another way I like to enjoy my kombucha is with sparkly juice. Sometimes when I'm having my meal and I don't want just a full powered flavored kombucha, then I like to dilute it with just half juice. This is an excellent method if you find your kombucha is a little bit older or a little more tart than your personal preference. Mixing it half and half uh, helps with the flavor, but you still get all the health benefits. Yum, it's like healthy pop. Another way to enjoy your kombucha is with a little bit of alcohol. I like to think of it as a little antidote with your poison since kombucha is not intended to intoxicate, although it does contain a small amount of alcohol. I like to combine it with like wine or champagne or even in a mixed drink to add a unique flavor and also to help prevent some of the harmful effects of the alcohol, like a hangover or something like that. Here we go, delicious wine spritzer. That's great. These are just some of the ways that you can flavor your kombucha. Let your imagination be your guide and any flavor is possible. Awesome.